Hey everyone, I wanted to come and greet you and wish you all just a happy new year as we move into 2021. And I've been releasing, I released a video last week for a Christmas prayer and I wanted to release one again this week since we weren't having our regular Zoom time. Uh, we will be resuming our Zoom prayer meetings starting the first Monday in January 2021. And we'll be sending you out a link to join in on those Zooms. And again, it's so important that we continue to to pray and and uh, see that God's will is filled uh, in our nation and in our lives and in our church in, in 2021. But I wanted to just uh, take the opportunity to share with you a couple of things that the Holy Spirit's been talking to me about in 2021. And I have to tell you, I am just so renewed in excitement for what God is doing because we are moving in a time, I believe, where the supernatural of God is going to be released and, and manifest in such a new way that we haven't seen in the church for the last 20, 30, uh, 30 years uh, since we've been in ministry, and we've been in ministry now over 30 years. Uh, we have not seen the power of God to the degree that I know God wants to manifest himself. And I believe in 2021, the church is, is in a position and in a place to move in the power of God like we've never seen before. And the Holy Spirit actually ministered to me uh, the last couple of weeks that for 2021, uh, what's been coming up in my spirit is have fun in 2021. And I want to dig just for a few minutes a little bit deeper into that because, of course, the world would see think if you say, oh, let's have fun, thinking party and all kinds of things. But when God says have fun in 2021, it, it opened up a new realm of thinking to me. And there was something I was listening to a YouTube video and something that the minister shared uh, talking about the supernatural, talking about the prophetic, that in the dreams, and we've been hearing in 2020 so many prophetic, insightful dreams that God has been given, uh, giving to many in the body of Christ so that we can move and flow with the plans and purposes of God so that we can understand how he's, he's making his will, making his ways be known, and it's been through the supernatural, through through dreams, through visions, through um, actual manifestations of angelic hosts ministering messages to the body of Christ. So as I've been listening to so many of these experiences that people have been having as they, they share their dreams and visions, um, the, the Holy Spirit said in this one uh, couple of phrases that a minister spoke that that the Holy Spirit is is moving and and trying to show us, the, the body of Christ, things through our dreams. And something that he said that captivated my interest was that in our minds, in, in our minds, as we try to wrap around the concepts of God, the vastness, the vast ability of God in us, the hope of glory, that it's hard for our minds sometimes to understand what the Spirit is saying to us. So uh, many times, and I know how the Holy Spirit moves through me, he gives me words and I look up words and then I begin to grasp and understand what the Holy Spirit is trying to convey for me to pray about, for me to meditate on. And so what this person was sharing was that as we have dreams, that the Holy Spirit is, as as we're meditating on the Word of God and, and we're focusing on the things above and not the things below, that Holy Spirit gives us these dreams and there's supernatural meaning to them, and we just need to, to ask Holy Spirit to help us understand. And as I've shared with many of you, many of my dreams are I'm, I'm traveling, I'm moving, I'm usually um, by myself moving in circumstances that I don't quite understand, but it's not, I'm not necessarily recognizing the, circum, the um, surroundings that I'm in. It's, it's always unfamiliar places that I'm observing. And, and I'm flying, I'm jumping, I'm moving. Um, and so as I began to say, okay, God, what are you trying to share with me these dreams that I'm having over and over and over, that I'm places that I don't recognize and I'm not always with people that I recognize. And so Holy Spirit, as I began to ask Holy Spirit to reveal it to me, the Holy Spirit was talking to me about the realms that he wants me to flow in, the supernatural um, and, and moving and and even possible translations into places. And so I'm opening up my spirit to move in these prophetic areas 
these uh, supernatural arenas that I've not yet flowed in, but yet I'm called to, I'm interested in. And I believe many of you that will, will listen to some of these teachings, you're also flowing in that. You're, you're wanting to press into the supernatural of God, into understanding what the Spirit of God is saying and moving in prophetic prayers and intercession. So I wanna share with you, as, as the Lord told me to have fun in 2021, this is what he's opened up to me, that in 2021, there is going to be such a supernatural move of God. We're going to see the signs, the wonders, the, uh, the miracles. These things are going to be beginning to flow because what we're seeing in the natural is the demonic activation of changing how we live, changing uh, our system of living, changing and trying to limit our freedoms. All of these things are a plan of the devil to stop the supernatural flow of God because we know where God is. The spirit of liberty and freedom and life is there. And that's everything that in the natural the devil is moving against to stop the life flow, to stop, stop the supernatural power of God that he knows is being loosed in the church as the church is seeking him in ways that we've never sought him before. So when the Holy Spirit was talking to me about let's have fun in 2021, out of Ephesians 6.10, it says, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Well, we know that 2020 has really challenged the body of Christ in her strength. How strong is our faith to stand against the wiles of the devil when the devil is bringing an onslaught of sickness, disease, oppression, um, hitting our finances and lows, causing people to lose jobs, all of these things, an attack at one time to shake our faith, to shake our stand in God, and to get us tuned into the natural of what is the news saying today? What, what is the report today of, of how bad this plague is and how many people are going to die and how many people are going to lose their jobs and unemployment and all this thing that's activating such fear in us that it, it, that it really literally stopped the world from her normal function. Every system ceased, if you think about it, that we have never before in, in any of our lifetimes seen this something so massive that it literally stopped the world economy. Now that's the move of the devil to try to stop this wondrous, great awakening of God that we're just now beginning to understand that, that God has for us, that we are going to see such a strong move of God, and I believe it's going to start flowing in 2021, but the church has to be prepared because the devil's going to continue an onslaught of darkness to try to stop the light and the glory of God from manifesting. So in Ephesians 6.10, when we talk about, finally, brethren, in these end times, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And we're like, yes, we, we need that, but how? And I believe the key is having fun in 2021. John 15, 11 says that keeping his commandments, that my joy might remain in you. So we know a big key is following God, following his commandments, staying in the Lord so that we can receive his strength. So it says keeping his commandments, again, John 15, 11, keeping his commandments, that my joy might remain in you. So if we keep his commandments, we're going to be doing so, so that his joy can remain in us, that our joy may be full. We know that the fruits of the Spirit are the first three are love, joy, and peace. Those three things in the Lord are the power of God. Through faith and patience, we inherit the promises of God, that it's impossible to please God without faith and that our faith worketh by love. So we have love, we have joy, we have peace, the fruits of his spirit in us, and that if we keep his commandments, his joy in us is going to be full. Now that leads us to Nehemiah 8.10. You should all know that, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So if we keep his commandments, we're in him, we're in Christ, our joy is going to be full, and that joy is our strength so that Ephesians 6, 10 can be true in our lives, that we're strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
So as we receive that joy of the Lord, if we have fun, we have joy. If we don't take ourselves too seriously, if we don't take the news report seriously, if we don't take the bad report seriously, but we focus on those things above, every good and perfect gift from our Father, the covenant of life and peace that we have with Him, and we think not on those things that are below, the turmoil, the stress, the bad report, whatever it is that comes against us, if we just say, you know what, Lord? I trust in you. My trust is in you alone. My trust is not in these reports that I'm receiving. I, I've literally turned off the news. I, I don't know, honestly, what, what's happening. I, I'm keeping my ears tuned to the will of God, the plans and purposes of God. And when he said, let's have fun in 2021, I'm learning to let go of some things. And my family will say, oh, well, kids, you can't do that. Gigi won't like it. And I say, sure, go ahead and do it. And they're like, what? I am finding some of these things don't matter and I'm purposely training myself to let go of some things. Let go of those things that are unimportant. What's important? Life. Life is important. And there is joy in everything if we look unto God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Let the joy of the Lord be our strength. What is joy? And we know in the in the Old Testament that God told his people to keep the feast, to keep the festivals, and many of the festivals that we've studied in the Old Testament were revolving around the community of faith, the family structure, having meals together, fellowshipping with one another, and in encouraging one another and being together and receiving joy. And, and as I've been meditating on this, I can see how much the devil has attacked our structure. He's attacked our family core. He's kept families from, from being in the joy of having a baby. I've, I've watched as families have been literally separated and a baby's been born into a family and the the grandparents and the aunts, the uncles, the cousins, can maybe see a baby through, through a window, can maybe get pictures on a Zoom. And of course there's still joy, of course there's excitement, but it's not the same as the family being together and experiencing being able to hold that new baby, being able to fellowship and watch everyone's faces as they're introduced into a new family member. And our church services, Oh my goodness, imagine how much our Father enjoys the family of God being together. And, and just like, you know, now I'm a grandparent and sometimes I can just sit and watch the children interact with one another, watch the children interact with their parents. And as, um, you know, our family, our family uh, unit, we all celebrated Christmas together. We opened our packages and what joy we had watching the little ones, the, the light on their faces as they opened up their Christmas packages. That's joy. And God created families to be together to experience joy. So when we're talking about joy and having fun in 2021, it is all about the joy of the Lord being our strength. And as we receive that joy and we're strong in the Lord, our focus needs to be on God. What do you have for us today? He says his mercies are new every day. His, his grace is new every day. So as we experience these things in the Lord and we purpose to say, Father, your will be done on earth as it's being done in heaven. Father, we know that you're going to make every crooked place straight. Father, our trust is in you that we're going to see the turning of California. We're going to see the turning of our states. We're going to see people turn their eyes towards Jesus because we, the army of God, the people of God, are going to let that joy of the Lord be our strength. And we're going to be strong in the Lord and the power of our might. And remember out of Ephesians chapter 6, that whole chapter is about putting on the army of God and having the sword of the Spirit, being victorious in every fight 
that the devil would try to bring against us, casting down every vain imagination that would try to tell us that we need to be in fear or that we need uh, to, to just hover in place because the devil is after us. No, we are to let the light and the glory of God burst out from us, to let the sword of our spirit, the word of God coming out of our mouth, destroy the works of the devil. Isn't that what Jesus did when he was here? physically in the earth. He says, I'm here that I have come that I might destroy the works of the devil. And that's who God is raising up. He is raising up a mighty army. He is raising up the ecclesia, the church to take her place so that as we're receiving our strength in the Lord, that we can do his will in the earth. And that is to re release the goodness and the glory of God, to let the, the gifts of the spirit of God flow through us, to touch and bring life and light to all of those around, her, around us. And uh, I've been meditating on the Lord of Sabaoth. And it says, I wanna read you the description of the Lord of Sabaoth. And that means the Lord of hosts. And we are the, the natural hosts in the earth. We're working with the angelic hosts realm and releasing the word of God out of our mouth so that the angelic hosts can move and manifest in the will of God. But let me read you. If you look up the Lord of Sabaoth, just uh, type in uh, in Google or whatever search engine you use, Sabaoth, S-A-B-A-O-T-H, Sabaoth. And this is what the first thing that came up that it said. It is the title of Jehovah. It is God's military might, his strength to fight and win battles. Church, I believe this joy is gonna come to us as we receive the joy of the Lord to win these battles. We're gonna be more and more joyful as we are seeing things turned around. And we're not a defeated army, but we're a victorious army that God has called us to be. So it's God's military might, his strength to fight and win battles, the Lord is commander of angelic soldiers as well as the armies of Israel. And it says the Lord of hosts is defined in 1 Samuel 17, 45 as the God of the armies of Israel. And there was a side note that says his sovereignty over all spiritual and physical armies. So we're his physical army in the earth and God wants us to, nat to uh, manifest in the spiritual army, commanding the spiritual hosts and rising up as, as sergeants and commanders and general and leaders in the army of God so that the Lord of Sabaoth can command his army into all spiritual victories and we can re see the release of the glory of God. So I just want to encourage you to let's have fun in 2021. We're going to grow higher. We're going to grow stronger. We're going to, uh, in leaps and bounds, command the spiritual hosts of heaven to lead and move in these battles to win these victories, to turn again messes into the miracle flow of God. We're no longer going to be a subdued church, a, a church that takes a back seat. No, we're going to be moving forth in the glory and the power and the might and dominion of God. And each and every one of us are called to be in that army. So I am looking into the church to watch the army of God rise up to watch as light goes on inside of us at, at our service this morning. I shared quite a bit about the light of God coming forth. So uh, if you could look up that video, if you didn't see it uh, live with us this morning, um, Pastor Don gave me some extra time and I shared quite a bit about the light and the glory of God coming from the inside of us into our hearts and out. So we're gonna let our light so shine before men that they see the glory of God in us. So I wanna pray with you as we move into to 2021. Father, I thank you for these mighty men and women of God, the army of God rising up. Lord Sabaoth, lead us and guide us into all truth. Let us rise up with the joy of the Lord, it is our strength. And we thank you, Father, for the supernatural strength in the army. Father, we break all 
power of darkness over our lives. Father, any bondages, any sicknesses, any diseases that the, that the devil has tried to put on us, to stop us from flowing in this might and covenant of life and peace that you've raised us up in. Father, I thank you that we are the children of the Most High God. We are the children of light. And Father, your blessings of covenant, Father, all of your promises that are a yes and amen, we call them to manifest now. Father, we command the light to break forth. And as, as it says in Isaiah chapter 60, Father, we, your church, are ready to arise to shine and let the glory of God spread throughout the earth. Father, we thank you for 2021 and all that you're bringing in. And Father, the fun that we're going to have moving and working and receiving, Father, your uh, words from heaven to lead and guide and direct us into all truth. Father, I thank you for the increase in each and every one of our lives, in our homes, in our families. Father, for the open doors of opportunity you're bringing in 2021. We thank you, Father, that as, as we've moved through 2020, Father, that, that you're raising the army up. Father, you've not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And Father, as we've stood through 2020 and we've watched these things unfold, I thank you for your wisdom and for your knowledge, for your understanding in all of these things. And Father, we declare that our minds are the mind of Christ, that we're continuing to more and more be transformed into your image. Father, more and more we are coming to understand your thoughts, your ways that are higher than our natural thoughts and higher than our natural ways. Father, we're no longer bound to these natural circumstances, but Father, we are letting go of these things in the natural, and Father, we are moving with the Lord of Sabaoth into the supernatural realm, into the supernatural manifestation of your goodness and your glory, your light, your life. Father, our vision is increasing. Father, you're opening up the eyes of our understanding to see, to hear, to know, and Father, to to move by the Spirit of God. Father, with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray for all of those that are listening to this that might not yet understand what it is to be filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking and praying in other tongues. Father, that you're, that you're moving in wisdom and understanding. Father, that you're um, amplifying scriptures Father, that talk about that. So Lord, I just thank you that you are increasing ranks. Father, you are promoting the body of Christ as the army of God and the military force of God. Father, promotions, promotions are being given, Father, and we receive. I know, Father, um, we had, uh, you and I had a discussion not too long ago where, Father, I committed to new things. I committed to new ways, and I said, Lord, I'm ready for increase. I'm ready, Father. And I know as I'm praying, Father, I just know that you have also uh, been encouraging and exhorting those that are praying with me even now, Father, that they're also saying, I'm ready, Lord. Here I am. Use me in these higher realms and in these higher ways. So, Father, I love loose. I loose those anointings and I loose those mantles and I stand in agreement with my brothers and sisters in Christ. Father, that we receive the fullness. Father, and the fullness of your joy, you've already given it to us. You've already said it's a yes and an amen. So Father, we receive and we open ourselves up to fullness, Father. Fullness in 2021 as we have fun in the Lord and the joy of the Lord is our strength as we go about doing the natural things you've called us to and Father moving into the supernatural realm. We thank you for your joy. We give you thanks for all of these things and we receive your blessings in the wonderful matchless name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So I want to bless each and every one of you. I thank you for joining in as we move in strength and power in 2021. May the Lord bless and keep you and make his face shine upon you. I love you and we will talk with you soon.